In this video, I'll walk you through how to download and install Visual Studio Code on your machine. It's a simple process, so let's get started and see how to set it up step by step. Step one, download Visual Studio Code. First, open your preferred browser and search for Visual Studio Code. The top result should be from the official website, code.visualstudio.com. Click on this link to visit the official page for downloading VS Code. Once you're on the site, you'll notice multiple download buttons prominently displayed, one at the top and another in the main section of the page. Click on the Download for Windows button if you are using Windows, or you can choose the appropriate OS. This will start downloading the installer file. When the download is complete, locate the exe file, usually in your downloads folder, and click on it to start the installation process. The setup wizard will open, guiding you through the installation. Start by accepting the license agreement and clicking Next. The next steps are straightforward. Leave most options to default unless you have specific preferences. When the installation finishes, you'll have the option to launch Visual Studio Code right away. Click Finish, and Visual Studio Code will open for the first time. When you open Visual Studio Code for the first time, you'll be greeted with a welcome screen. One of the first things you can customize is the theme. Once you've chosen your theme, you'll see additional options to enable rich support for different programming languages and adjust your settings. You can explore these features, but if you're happy with the defaults, you can start coding right away. After closing Visual Studio Code, you can relaunch it anytime by searching for it in the Start menu. Click the Windows icon, type Visual Studio Code into the search bar, and select the app to open it. Alternatively, you can open Visual Studio Code from the command prompt. To do this, search for CMD in the Start menu and open the command prompt. Then type code, press Enter, and Visual Studio Code will launch. If you want to open a specific folder in Visual Studio Code, there are a couple of ways to do it. The first method is through File Explorer. Navigate to the folder you want to open, right-click inside the folder, and select Open with Code from the Context menu. This will open the folder directly in Visual Studio Code. The second method is using the terminal. Open the command prompt, navigate to the desired folder using the cd command, and then type code space dot. This command will open the current folder in Visual Studio Code. Once you've opened a folder, you can start exploring its contents or create new files to work on your projects. Visual Studio Code makes it easy to manage files, write code, and organize your workspace efficiently. And that's it. You've successfully downloaded, installed, and configured VS Code on your machine. Next, we will look at setting up Python for VS Code from downloading and installing Python to configuring VS Code with the necessary extensions. Smoother. Whether you're completely new to Python or already have some familiarity, this walkthrough will ensure you're ready to start coding. Let's get started. In this session, we'll go over how to set up Python in VS Code. I'll take you through the steps one at a time, from downloading and installing Python to configuring VS Code with the necessary extensions. Along the way, I'll share some helpful tips to make your development experience smoother. Whether you're completely new to Python or already have some familiarity, this walkthrough will ensure you're ready to start coding. Let's get started. To begin, visit Python's official website at python.org and download the latest version of Python. Be sure to select the version that matches your operating system. For Windows users, during the installation process, make sure you check the option Add Python to Path. This step is crucial as it allows you to use Python directly from the command prompt without additional setup. Once the installation is complete, open your command prompt and run Python version to verify Python is installed. This will display the installed version of Python, confirming that everything is set up correctly. For Mac users, you can also download Python from the same website, but there's an alternative. If you prefer, you can use Homebrew, a package manager for macOS. To check if Homebrew is installed, Type brew install Python. The next step is to install the Python extension in VS Code. At this point, you might wonder, didn't we already install Python? What we installed earlier was the Python interpreter, which is responsible for executing Python scripts. However, the Python extension in VS Code provides additional tools, 
such as code formatting, linting, IntelliSense, and debugging. To add the extension, open VS Code and navigate to the extensions marketplace. Search for Python and click the Install button. The extension also includes PyLens, which enhances code suggestions and debugging tools, giving you an even better coding experience. A virtual environment is an important part of Python development. It allows you to isolate dependencies for your project, so different projects don't interfere with each other. Start by creating a Python file, for example, demo.py, and write a simple print statement like print, hello, Python. Save the file, then test it in the terminal by running python test.py. If everything is set up correctly, you'll see the output printed in the terminal. To create a virtual environment, open the command palette in VS Code by pressing Control plus Shift plus P. Search for Python, create environment, select it, and choose VENV as the type of environment. Then pick your preferred Python interpreter, such as Python 3.x. Once the environment is created, a new folder named VENV will appear in your project directory. If you encounter issues installing packages, ensure the virtual environment is active. Refresh your terminal or reopen it to activate the environment, and you'll notice the terminal prompt updates to reflect the active environment. VS Code offers multiple ways to run Python scripts. You can simply click the play button at the top right of the editor or execute the file directly in the terminal by typing python space filename.py. Additionally, the drop-down menu next to the play button provides options for running the file in a terminal or debugging it. If you need to test small code snippets or experiment quickly, you can use the Python REPL, read eval print loop. Open the command palette, type start REPL, and select the option. The REPL allows you to type Python commands directly into the terminal and see instant results, making it perfect for quick calculations or testing ideas. To exit, press Ctrl plus D. VS Code provides excellent tools for navigating and debugging your code. For example, you can right-click on a function or class and choose Go to Definition to jump to where it's defined, or use Find All References to see where it's used. For debugging, you can set breakpoints in your code by clicking in the margin next to the line numbers. Then, click the Play button to start debugging. You'll be able to monitor variables, step through your code, and troubleshoot effectively. If needed, you can configure advanced debugging settings in a launch.json file. But for most use cases, the built-in tools will be good enough. Let's try a simple Python program to practice taking input from the user and printing a customized output. This simple program shows how Python interacts with the user by taking input and producing a customized output. Try it out yourself and feel free to experiment by entering different names. And that's it. You've now set up Python in VS Code and are ready to start working on your projects. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to share them. This video is part of my series on programming in Python. If you're new here, be sure to check out my other videos and playlists for a more comprehensive learning experience. I also regularly post new content on cutting-edge topics like AI, generative models, and much more. So, don't forget to subscribe and visit my channel regularly for updates. I hope this session has been helpful and you feel confident about diving into Python development.